Hello guys, welcome back to another scratch tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to make a platformer game. Simple. Um, I'm going to make this as, as a series. I don't know how much parts will be in it, but we'll see. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, of course, delete this man here, scratch cat. It's useless okay so let's make a new sprite um i've got a sprite in my backpack it's just a simple square to be honest oh it's a sprite it's just a simple square to be honest just like that Jeez. okay we just like that, it's a 32 by 32 pixel square. Then we can add another sprite, naming it platforms, which is our platform for the player to jump around, move around. I'm, I named this test because this is not our permanent map. We're going to make levels with this platformer. Um, without further ado, let's get started with coding. Okay, so first things first, in this in this part we're going to make the basic movement for the player. So when green player clicked, we will broadcast a message, make it new it, reset. It's going to reset the whole game, and it will. Yeah, it's very useful. You'll you'll see in the next part, okay? And when I receive reset, we are going to make some variables here. I already made them. Okay. So our first variable is x velocity. Make sure you um make it for this sprite only. Every variable except the the my variable, we got to delete that. Okay, so for the x velocity, y velocity, and can jump. So the x velocity will control. Okay, for some interruption. Um, when I receive reset, we'll set all of the variables to zero. X velocity, y velocity. Okay. <coughs> Forever, you'll put in a new block. <coughs> Naving it movement run without screen refresh make sure you do it if not it won't work okay forever we'll make in a movement and define movement okay we'll put in an if we'll make this control with the yd keys or the arrow keys let me hide the variables first Okay, operators or the key right arrow or the key D is pressed, then we will of course move to the right. We'll change x velocity by one and then duplicate that. Left arrow A key negative one. Okay, make sure you do this. Don't get mixed up by this um we will make in a times x velocity 0 0.85 and then we will change x by x velocity make sure you're moving on the x axis not the y okay so we got our little player moving moving nice okay so now let's make the x collisions so if it collides on the right or left it will stop so if it will is touching the platforms we will put in a repeat until <coughs> repeat until it's not touching the platforms then we will put in an if else here 
so if we are touching the wall on the right then we can of course change our x by negative one else we'll change x by one and don't forget to set our x velocity to zero and i forgot to mention that this platformer game is very highly inspired by griff patch's scrolling platform tutorial i'll give it a link in the description for his playlist of that tutorial and yeah so the x collisions work as a charm okay so now you'll make in the gravity we'll change y velocity by say negative one we'll change y by y velocity let's test that yeah that's oh no it's laggy so uh yeah it, it it's pretty reason reasonable gravity let's go i like it okay so we'll duplicate no not yet we'll set the pan jump to zero so if touching platforms repeat until not touching platforms change this to y velocity we'll change y change y make sure you do that and we'll of course set y velocity to zero and we're going to put in set can jump here to one inside the else of the if else y velocity more than zero stuff okay um does that work let's let's test it out yes y velocity works like a charm let's go lucky works really good here okay should we copy this right now our final step is to make the player jump so if um put in an hand first and then or if our key up arrow is pressed or the key w is pressed and the um can jump variable is one so it's allowed to jump then we can finally set our y velocity let's say 12 first let's test that out oh, now that's too low i think maybe we'll add it to 14 okay um yeah this is pretty reasonable you can change this anytime you want gonna edit the test platform the test gonna add this higher make it higher and in here we're gonna make this i don't know yeah gonna make it like this i hope it works and yeah pretty sure this part is done Maybe I'm going to decrease the jump height a bit here. 30 maybe. Okay. Oop. 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 Oh no. Can't reach it. Let's change the test platform again. You can always change the numbers. If you want to. Look here. I'm very bad at level designing. Sorry about that. And yeah, very bad at level designing. Yeah, finally. Okay, so everything works now. It's a very weird test platform, but can't wait for you guys to test this out. So try different test platforms. Try um changing the values a bit like the gravity or the jump height but anyways thanks for watching please do leave a like comment share this video and yeah that's all bye
บายบาย